What's going on everybody? It's the Bull Show, aka Aiden, and welcome back to another video. Ladies and gentlemen, just as we anticipated, the Chicago Bulls have provided some big news in relation to the two-way contract spots and the remaining roster spots on this team and a couple of players that will be getting waived from the Chicago Bulls. I didn't necessarily see it go down this path, but ultimately the Chicago Bulls have made their decisions now and we'll wait and see how successful their decisions will be over the course of the year for the Chicago Bulls. But before we get started, Please like and subscribe to The Bull Show. Turn notifications on and let me know in the comments below your thoughts about the Chicago Bulls decisions they've made with the two-way contract spot. Are you happy? Are you sad? Overall, are you indifferent? Do you feel like it really matters for the Chicago Bulls regular season and whatnot? And everything in relation to that. It's a very, very important time for the Chicago Bulls. Again, uh, still a few days away from our first game against the Miami Heat. But overall, I would have to say a little bit of, a, again, a lot of tough decisions that had to be made and that have been made today. So... Let's get started on the news, ladies and gentlemen. I first want to talk about Karlick Jones being released from the Chicago Bulls. This is probably one that many people expected to occur. Again, I feel like Karlick Jones, if we didn't necessarily put it this way, if we still had that team with Chris Dunn and Shaquille Harrison and those types of guys at the point guard position, if Karlick Jones was on a two-way contract spot back then, he probably would have made the team, to be honest. He probably would have got a two-way contract spot. He probably would have got into the team and played some games. But we do have a lot of good quality point guards at the moment. We do have guys that are also going to be coming back with the point guard position as well. There wasn't a lot for guys like Javon Freeman, Liberty, and Karlick Jones to live off of, of the Chicago Bulls in terms of fighting for a two-way contract spot. So all the best to Carly Jones. Hopefully he does well in whatever journey takes him next. Will he be on our G League? Who knows? Will he go to a different team? Who knows? Again, I thought he had a fantastic summer league, so there is still faith out there for him that he could make an NBA team once again. But all things considered, just all the best to Carly Jones, and hopefully um, wherever he goes next, he'll be very successful. But definitely someone that I thought many of us would have thought probably would have got waived very, very soon, and it ended up happening. But someone that I did not expect to get waived from the Chicago Bulls, and maybe I should have, was Justin Lewis. Justin Lewis has actually been waived from the Chicago Bulls. So very, very upsetting news there, ladies and gentlemen. Again, we have seen this come back to bite us before with Max Strauss, but the Bulls have decided they did not want to wait a long period of time for Justin Lewis's recovery, and they've decided to go in a different direction with the two-way contract spot. My guess is that it's going to go to Malcolm Hill, but we'll further discuss that in the future. But for right now, Justin Lewis is not going to be, uh, I guess, a Chicago Bulls member. I think he's still going to be in and around the team. I think he's still going to be training with us and whatnot, but I don't think he's going to be, again, he doesn't have an official roster spot. He doesn't have a two-way contract spot. He's not going to be, I guess, in that type of situation this year. So all the best to Justin Lewis as well. Again, maybe if he's in and around the team next year, we'll give him another chance and see how he goes from there. I don't think it's the worst thing in the world that this happened, but I also really felt like we could have given him a chance. And I've always wanted to see us be patient with Justin Lewis because he did show some good qualities in the summer league as well. But we'll wait and see, I guess, what the Bulls will do in the future with Justin Lewis. If we have another chance to give him another go, maybe he can end up having a two-way contract spot in a year's time. Who really knows? Moving into the next one, ladies and gentlemen, the Chicago Bulls have made and will most likely waive a new player, ladies and gentlemen, and his name is Okoro White. I can't say I know a lot about Okoro White in all honesty, so I recommend you guys do your own research and kind of figure out what type of player he is, how good he could be for the Chicago Bulls and stuff like that. But I don't think it's going to be a big worry for the main team as he has signed for the Chicago Bulls. That has been confirmed by Daniel Greenberg on Twitter and I think by other sources as well. However, it is expected that he is going to get waived, which basically puts him in the same spot as Ethan Thompson and he will be part of our G League team. So... There we go, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, the thing with Okora White is I think he played with Greece or he played in the Greece League or something like that. So that is def definitely something to keep your eye on. Uh, we'll wait and see. Again, this is definitely a situation that's not going to affect the main Bulls team. It's probably going to affect the Chicago Bulls G League team. So hopefully Okora White can perform well in the G League and hopefully he's done enough. We're to the point, again, next season or even a couple of times throughout the regular season, we can give him a chance, maybe give him a 10-day contract or something like that and see what he 
can do for the Chicago Bulls team. Time will tell. Again, a lot of big moves here, ladies and gentlemen. But one thing that I don't think has been announced officially is the waving of Malcolm Hill, which brings to my attention that maybe Malcolm Hill is going to get the other two-way contract spot. So all the conversations of would it be Costa Santos de Cooper, would it be Malcolm Hill, those two guys seem to be the ones that make the most sense. One's a very good shooter and played for the Bulls last year. The other one is someone that we need in terms of size, strength, physicality, mobility, especially from that power forward and center position. And he brings that, Costa Santos de Cooper is who I'm talking about. So all the discussion would have been one or the other. It could have very well have been both of them, ladies and gentlemen. But again, still unsure about what's happened with Malcolm Hill. My guess is he's going to get the other two-way contract spot with the reports that Okoro White will most likely get waived and be sent to the G League. So we're making moves. We're active in terms of who's going to get that two-way contract spot. I do feel somewhat sad again about Justin Lewis, but altogether, uh, big decisions had to be made and the Bulls decided to make them and I will live with the results in relation to that. So... All together, we'll wait and see how the Chicago Bulls can perform for the regular season. But I want to thank you guys for watching this video. Please like and subscribe if you're new. I believe that's all the news for the Chicago Bulls. If I have missed anything, let me know in the comments below. Have a wonderful and safe day. Stay safe, stay healthy, stay tuned for more. Take care and peace.